Hi, in this video I will show you step by step how to create a Cora ad. So stay tuned and follow with me. Hi everybody, I am Mohamed from Smart DG Web. I am happy to be with you in this video. Before to start, please subscribe to get any update. Well, this is my smartdigweb.com website where I added this blog. In this video, I will create a Cora ad to promote this post where I explain step by step how to install TrueBuddy and how to use it to find interesting keywords and topics with low competition and high shares volume. This, by the way, allows me to get more views from YouTube shares. I will leave you in the description the link of this post as well as the associated video if you are interested by this topic. As you can see here, I have some affiliate links. I also embed the video from my channel linked to the same topic. Let's now move to the Cora website. Well, Cora is a global platform where one can ask questions on various topics and answer others' questions. You can also create what Cora calls spaces in which you can write posts. If we now look at Cora uh, on similar web, we can see that uh, it is ranked 88 uh, worldwide and gets uh, around 500 million visits per month. Well, there are three reasons why I want to advertise on Cora. Uh, the first one is uh, contextual targeting. Cora allows you to target people based on the questions they have asked, which is a very precise targeting. The second reason is the credibility obtained through the positioning of your ad between responses linked to the targeted topics. The third reason is that the cost per click of Cora ads is still low compared to other platforms. Now let's create our campaign. Here on my Cora account, I click here on my profile, then I click on create ad. If this is your first time, you will need to create an ad account. Just enter an account name and a contact email address and click next. Then here enter the requested information relating to your business. Enter a business name. Be careful, this name will appear in your campaign. So enter the correct one. Then enter your website and select uh, the appropriate uh, industry for your business here from this uh, drop down list and then select your billing country and the billing currency for your account finally click on start advertising then you will receive this uh, confirmation mail so just click on verify email congratulations your account is now ready to create your first ad so to create a new campaign, click on this blue button here, then enter the name of your campaign. Next, you have to set your campaign objective. You can choose between uh, conversions, app installs, lead generation. For this ad, I select uh, traffic since my goal is uh, to bring traffic to my posts. Then I answer a daily budget for this ad and I set a start date and an aid date. You can also start your campaign now and end it later whenever you want. Finally, click on continue to move to the ad set page. Here I enter the name of the ad set. And by the way, you will find the same structure in other advertising platforms such as Google and Facebook. You always have a campaign that can have many ad sets and each ad set can have many ads. Below you need to select your target countries. For this ad I am selecting USA, Canada, UK, Australia and UAE. Next step you have to choose the way you want to target people. You can select between a contextual audience behavioral or broad targeting. For this ad, I choose uh, contextual targeting. Then I enter some keywords related to my posts. You can notice here that the potential 
impression is not large as you can find on other platforms like Facebook or Google. However, it's precise targeting. If you notice that the count is low, add more keywords that are contextually close to your topic until you hit the volume you want. Well, then you can uh, choose the targeting device and gender. You can also exclude a certain audience or specific question. Here you can uh, uncheck this uh, option if you don't want your ad to appear in the Quora newsletter. Here at the bottom of this page, you can choose to optimize your ad for clicks or for impressions. For me, since I want more traffic to my post, I select optimize for clicks. Finally, you enter the cost per click bit. Quora suggests one based on the targeted keywords and the countries you entered. You can use it or set the one you want. Then click on continue to move to the ad page. Here in this page, you have to define your ad. First, enter a name for it. Next, you can choose either you want to promote image ad, text ad, or promote an answer. For this ad, I select image ad. Then I enter a headline and a body text for my ad. Here you can choose the appropriate call to action you want. Well, for this ad, I just keep the option Learn More. Then I upload an image with the recommended dimensions. For the logo, the first time you upload it, you will have to wait for it to be validated by the Cora team to complete this step. Finally, I enter the URL of my post and I click on Continue. Great, my ad is now created. Here I have a warning since I haven't payment method yet in this account. I click here to add one. Then I enter my card number. While everything is fine now, and my ad will be reviewed by the Cora team. Well, few moments later, my ad was validated after I fixed the title capitalization problem. And this is what I get after a few hours. I have my first visit to my website with cost per click about 20 cents. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another video. Goodbye.